Today we're taking a look at the Nike and Off-White Blazer in the black colorway. Alright, starting with the box, see on the top you got Nike swoosh in this uh, glossy plastic print that reflects. And uh, nothing else on the top, it's just this raw cardboard uh, natural color. Right here you've got the off-white paragraph. Size tag right here, it's clear. Back there's nothing, and uh, this side there isn't anything either. And then you've got a standard bottom Nike box. Moving to the inside of the box, you've got the inverted box design like on all off-white shoes. This is the standard blazer box, the uh, red Nike swoosh right here. And uh, so it says Nike swoosh on the inside. Got this uh, sick off-white wrapping paper right here. And here are the shoes. So here are the shoes themselves. You can see, uh, since it's a rerun colorway, it comes with a baby blue or sky blue zip tie. Uh, whereas the uh, first release colorway comes with a red one. Moving to the uh, midsole or uh, <coughs> outsole of this shoe, you've got this uh, piece of rubber. It's a very simple midsole that just wraps around the whole sole. The only difference is this one second overlay of rubber right here on the front of the toe box. The outsole is a very simple design. It's uh, just this herringbone pattern with these two lines in it. And uh, now on the uh, side panel of the shoe, you can see you've got this mesh translucent sort of plastic right here that's used on uh, most of the off-white shoes. Gives it a real cool aesthetic and textured look. And uh, it moves on to the toe box as well. The toe box is half of that. And then another piece of this midsole rubber on the top. That uh, same midsole rubber right here, it makes up the uh, swoosh which spills on down onto the midsole. It's a really cool look. And this swoosh wraps around to both sides. This um, leather piece right here wraps around also to this side, but it's smaller on this side. It's sort of a uh, uneven. There's no uh, plastic on this side. This leather, I would say, is uh, sort of me mediocre quality. It's, uh, it's not great, to be honest. Um, but other than that, you've got this really nice suede right here. So that makes up for the leather um, with this exposed foam and a Nike embossed into it. It's a really sick look on the back. And uh, the heel cup right here, it's uh, rigid and it's, I believe it's wrapped in a uh, leather and it has a serial number on the back. Gives it a really cool uh, prototype look. On the swoosh, like on all the off-white shoes, you've got this little plastic piece right here, but uh, something that's different from uh, some of the other ones, it's very flimsy, I just noticed that. Moving to the inner side of the shoe, you've got the off-white paragraph, which reads, uh, off-white trademark for Nike, Nike Mazer, Blazer Mid, Beaverton, Oregon, circa 1972. It's covered up on this side. Um, Right here, you've got some more of that nice suede, and that suede is on all the lace eyelets on both sides. Very nice. You've got like uh, one of the main China pieces of tags right here. And uh, moving on to the laces, they're flat black. Unfortunately, the shoelaces in quotation is in a black, so it's black on black, and you really can't see any of it. Um, fortunately, it does come with a uh, second pair of laces. These laces are white with orange shoelaces, so you can actually see it. And uh, on the tongue, you've got a huge Nike sportswear tag with the orange swoosh. And uh, it wraps around the foam, and so it says sportswear on this side and Nike on the front, I really like that. And then across, you've got the uh, contrast stitch of this orange or sort of red looking stitch right here. Then you've got the exposed foam across the top of the tongue. Uh, kind of something different, this uh, sock liner right here, there's no exposed foam, which is what I would be expecting from uh, the off-white shoes. Usually the ankle collar has exposed foam for some reason, not on this one. And uh, moving to the insole, it's the 10 logo with the X underneath it. I don't know if you can see that. That's right there. And uh, that's the whole shoe. Now moving on to the review portion. So as a review of this shoe, this shoe uh, fits true to size and uh, comfort is sorta, it's not, 
And it's not very comfortable. It's a super old model, but it's not uncomfortable. Um, it comes with an extra lace set and uh, you know, the standard off-white box, it's really nice. Some of the materials could be better. The leather is not great, but the suede is pretty nice. Um, I think design subjective, but I like it a lot. So it's training for uh, mid uh, fives to sixes on stock X right now. And uh, it's one of the lesser expensive off-white shoes. Some of them are, you know, some of the in the uh, seven range. So if you like these, definitely pick them up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.